All right, boys and girls, here we are, practice three. Uh, we're going to split this one up into a couple different sections because uh, it's a little bit more difficult than uh, without regrouping. So what we're going to do, um, and I want you to kind of think back to when we were doing uh, addition problems, and you had some numbers when you added them together that were like a 4 plus 2 was 8. No big deal, right? But some of our numbers uh, would add up to be like 10 or greater than 10. Um, and then what we would do is say you had 8 plus 4, uh, which would equals 12. Well, you take the 2 in that answer, in the 1's column, and you'd write that down underneath the equals line and put it underneath the 1's column. And then the 1 from the 10's column in 12, you put to the top. Um, for example, uh, if you had 8 plus 4, and let's just say there's a 3 and a 3, okay? And there's our equals line, so you had 8 plus 4, and that would equal 12. So we'd put our 2 down in the bottom, and we carry our 1. We regroup our 1 over into the tens column, and now we're adding 1 plus 3 plus 3, and that was equal to 7. So that would equal 72, 38 plus 34. Uh, it's this part of the 12 that we're going to be doing now with our multiplication. So let's look at our example. And we have 3 times 26. So multiply the 1's by 3. So there are 6 1's times 3, which equals 18 1's. And then we're going to regroup the 1's. And, you know, we have a 10's column and a 1's column there. So we have 1 10 and we have 8 1's. Uh, on our problem over here, we write down the 8 underneath the 1's column. And then we're going to add the 1 above the tens column. Step 2, we're going to multiply the tens by 3. So there are two tens uh, times 3, which equals six tens. And now we're going to add those tens. So we're going to add the 1 that we had from regrouping with the 6 from our multiplication, which 1 plus 6 equals 7. So our answer is 78. So let's go ahead and check out number 1. 5 times 16, or 16 times 5. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply the 1's by 5. Notice both the 10's and the 1's, or if we had more than that, they're all going to be multiplied by this number, okay? So, uh, 5 times 6 1's equals 30 1's. Uh, now we're going to regroup those 31's, and if you remember, we have 10's and 1's there, so we have three tens, and we have zero ones. And we're going to write that down over here by saying zero, and there's a three. Now we're going to multiply the tens by five, so there's one ten, and we multiply that by five, and that equals five. Tens. Now we're going to add our tens together. So there's the three tens that we had regrouped plus the five tens. And we're adding them. So three plus five equals eight tens. Therefore, our answer of five times 16 equals 80. Now, we're going to look at the next couple of problems. Uh, number two. Notice here when we do our ones column, we are not going to have any regrouping because two times four is only eight. So times the two ones equals eight ones. Now we are going to have to regroup there, but it may not have you do as much because you know we're really not gonna have to write it up there. We're just gonna write it down here in our answer. Uh, but I'd like you to finish that problem up, number two. And then let's look at number three. Now, number three, on this one, eight times five, well, that's greater than nine, so that's going to need to be regrouped. And then seven times five is greater than nine, so that's also going to need to be regrouped. Um, when you finish those two problems, so problem two and problem three, those are the only two that I'm going to have you do, and we're going to put the old stop sign on the bottom of the page of 130, and that's where I'd like you to end. And we will look at 
um, the next couple of pages together tomorrow. So uh, talk to you later, boys and girls. Let me know if you have any questions on this.